guys, how's it going? Ben here from The Beard Guys. We are having a look today at the brand new Swedish premium tanks that have dropped on World of Tanks console. This is on my PS4 account. I just picked up uh, the fairly expensive Ultimate Bundle, which I bought. Uh, it's about seven, just under 17,000 gold. It's a whole bunch of money. Uh, not cheap, but you get this TD, the Tier 8 Stark STRV S1, and you get the Tier 6 STRV M4257, which is an auto-loading medium tank. But today, we're going to have a look at this wonderful looking TD. Uh, so let's have a really quick look at the stats before we jump in and do some gameplay. So if we pull up the basic stats here, you can see the engine power, you can see the rate of fire, 5.8 a minute, basic pen 288, premium pen 330, and damage 390, 480 for HE. Three second aiming time, 0.4 accuracy. And there you can see this thing gets a mighty tier 10 gun. It doesn't get preferential matchmaking, it's up to tier 10. And the most interesting thing about it really is that it introduces siege mode into the game, which is a brand new game mechanic that we haven't had before. So let's jump into a game and I'll show you just what that is and we'll see how we get on. So top tier, tier 8 for this thing is, uh, is pretty nice matchmaking, although I'm not sure where to go on this map. Let's have a little look at this tank in some lovely full screen for a moment. Here we go, there's, the, there's our, our baby. Very nice, and we can do siege mode. I wonder if it looks, so this is, if I press, there we go, this is me going into siege mode. And then going out of again. Yeah, not really in any animation there, but let's put back on the HUD and I'll show you uh, exactly what happens when you go in and out of siege mode. So at the moment you can see uh, we've got that little two second mark there. If you hit left on the D-pad, we go into siege mode. See that thing rotates. Take two seconds to go into siege mode. Now our movement is really slow like this, but see uh, how small the aiming uh, sight, the aiming reticule for the gun is. Oh, hello, mate. I <laughs> was not expecting someone to drive up here while I was doing this, but we'll see how we get on. We'll see if we can flat this guy. There we go. So uh, so that's siege mode. Uh, you're very slow backwards and forwards. But your accuracy is excellent. You can see uh, we, you know, if we're sitting like this and just moving our gun, it doesn't have to re-aim at all. It stays like absolutely pinpoint. Uh, if you have to turn the whole tank, so if you turn it like this, still, still keeps like that. It's only when you turn zoomed out that it has to aim in slightly again. But it's very very quick uh, the reload time is what is 8.5 something like that and we'll just let that reload and then we'll drop out of siege mode and i'll show you uh, how that works so if you drop out of siege mode we can't move at all while it's doing that 1.2 seconds to go but now we can move loads quicker you can see our accuracy is now uh completely completely gone to gone to shit. it's absolutely terrible there we go just about aims in but it kind of aims in this weird way i can't move up and down so i can only move uh left and right uh, but i can move quicker so yeah so it's just it's a strange one it's gonna take a bit of getting used to it. it's a totally new you know totally new game mechanic we can probably hit these heavies that are coming along here actually can't we Uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it fits into the game. We haven't really been doing much to help out our team, but thankfully our team have been doing okay themselves. So, uh, so thanks team. I'll try and uh, I'll try and start getting involved and do something for you guys. Is there anything going on here? Yeah, let's get into siege mode. See if we can hit this guy. Oops. Okay, let's try again. Is that guy going to push out? Oh yes, hello. Oh, we bounced the side of the Tiger 2 turret. Deary me. This one. This one. Nope. I think we hit the building again. Go on, T44. Push, push, push. This Tiger 2 is the luckiest Tiger 2. Oh my god, what does it keep hitting? It keeps hitting, is that his gun or gun mantlet or something in front of him? Well, we've got some guys coming out left soon. Oh my god, that guy's going to have such good bounce. <laughs> We're going to have guys coming out left real soon. There they are. Oh my god, we didn't even hit him. We didn't hit him. Back up. Hey, he missed as well. Nice. 
Well, he can't one bomb me. Uh, he's probably going to tag me now, though. Nope. Nice, nice. Don't know where he went. All at last. We're doing okay. We're hanging in there. You going to push again? Okay, have a little look, mate. Have a little look. Have a big look than that. Hi, RT. Uh, also, I don't have six cents on this at the moment, so that makes things, you know, a little bit harder, a little bit tougher. Oh, hello, far land. I don't know where that went. Uh -oh. We finally get to pen the Tiger 2. Hey, at point blank. There we go. We got to do some in. Nice. There we go. We're doing a bit of damage. Oh, the Arty's dead. Uh oh. Nice, nice. So we haven't done much this game, but you've got an idea of, uh, you know, the restriction on the movement when you're in siege mode. Hopefully we can uh, get some shots on this guy, do a little bit more damage. Oh, there we go. Come on, Binox and Kamenet, let's get this guy spotted up. So also, when you're in siege mode and you're just rotating left and right, you can actually move your tank and your camo net and your binoculars will stay engaged. You see they're not kicking off when I do that. Oh, come on, dude. Push around and fight. Don't let those guys come around and farm you. No, they're just going to cap out anyway. Come on. Come and shoot them. All right, we'll drive at him. Uh, look, just as he comes forward. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Siege mode, disengaged. And we won. So there you go. Not really a proper game, but we uh, we showed you what siege mode is and is not. And let's... um. But we managed to do a little bit of damage as well, and we made, what, 44,000 credits. So let's uh, do one more game, and we'll try and show you guys a bit of a normal game in this vehicle. Well, another tier 8 game. Let's take out our Swedish wedge of cheese and see what we can do. 1,000 hit points. Pretty, pretty small amount of hit points for a tier 8 tank. When you do get spotted, you do die pretty quickly. And it's certainly going to take a bit of getting used to, especially with Siege Mode. Uh, and especially because everyone's going to have very basic crews as well. So, you know, no Sixth Sense, no Camo Skills, no BIA. Makes things a little tricky. So I think we're just going to... Oh dear. We're just going to position here for a minute and just see if anyone pops up. Jesus, watch where you're going. See if anyone pops up over here to shoot at. These light tanks are coming this way. Nice, nice. There we go. So siege mode isn't, you know, you're not totally, totally, you know, immovable. You can still rotate and do stuff like that. Uh, it's just not ideal not as maneuverable as you can be but that being able to aim the that gun being so accurate when you turn in siege mode allows you to do things like that you know that ELC wasn't too close and we're able to turn and absolutely smash him <laughs> with a one shot right so hopefully some guys will come over here and we can uh, we can demo the gun on them nicely that's my aim anyway why don't you come and show yourself mate move over and see if we can uh, engage this IS-3. We'll drop siege mode. 
Oh, there we go. Let our mates back. Please stay there. There we go. We got one off. So you drop in and out. Given the oh dear, this isn't good. Okay. Oh, we bounced a shot though. It does have very sloped armor, to be fair. Ooh. Okay. Ah, oh, hello, IS3. Nice, nice. We hit this KV4. Come, mate. Get confident. You're a KV4. Nope. Okay. Let's try and get the IS3. Someone gets spotted. Okay, drop siege mode. If we get a line of sight on these guys from up here. Ah, oh, there's the ice tree. Okay, what if we? I guess we could get right round the back. Oh, hello, scorpion. God, this guy's going to hit me for some damage. We might as well hit him one in return, I suppose. Nope, we're too slow. So that's the disadvantage of siege mode, is that it's a bit sluggish in situations like that. You can't just swing and snap shot back at them. Uh, and we've lost almost half our health to that guy. I feel like I could probably get some shots on those guys if I go right around the bottom here. Or right around near that tree. Uh, we might get a line of sight on the KV-4 and the IS-3. So we'll go have a look. I don't want to sit there and duke out with that scorpion, because that scorpion will do some uh, some pretty significant damage. Here we go. Is that line of sight? Yeah. Okay, can we hit the IS-3? Can we hit your roof? Nope, we'll try again, though. Oh, come on. Oh, he's right in the open now as well. Don't go into cover, I'll be upset. There we go, we got to hit away, we got to hit away. A little bit too late for our teammates, unfortunately. Come on, push as well, push as well, Ice-3. Can't hit him, buddy. Oh, hello. Guy? No. Come on, stop going into the tracks. Hmm. I don't know what we're hitting there, but oh hello. Bluffing a lot of shots. Uh oh. This, this isn't good. <laughs> I think we're boned. I think we're boned. Uh, well, they've got a heavy come. What's that heavy come behind them? An IS 3. Hmm. Well, we're just going to get capped out anyway, so I guess we'll uh, might as well go and try and shoot them. They've both driven off the cap. Are they driving towards me, or towards that heavy? Probably towards me. Oh my god, every time. Every time. Well, we'll just sit here and take it. We'll see what we can do. Hey, we did another shot of damage. Oh my god, he just bounced me. I like the way we the whole time we're trying to snipe sneakily at the back, we didn't manage to do anything, and then as soon as this guy's like coming head on, we'd actually manage to kill almost kill the KV4. <laughs> You're panicking now, aren't you? Well, there we go. It's an interesting vehicle that I uh, am very much still learning and trying to get used to a TD playstyle that has not been one uh, that I have really done for a while. But it's interesting. I'm looking forward to learning it. It's something different, something new, spice things up. 
here. So uh, it can be quite campy. I think that might might put a lot of players off whether they're going to enjoy using it or not. I think that's certainly um, I don't know that would detract from from how much I like it. But um, yeah, I think the gun you know the gun is so good that it makes up somewhat for uh, quite how campy you might have to be on some situations. But there you go. That's a bit of a first look at the uh, Stark STRV S1. It's available in store. If you want to get a bit cheaper, you can get it later in the month, uh, and hopefully. At some stage, they'll release it without this stupid uh, Swedish flag camo on it. Not that the Swedish flag is stupid, but perhaps, perhaps painting your tank like one is. So there you go. That's uh, that's the Stark SDRV S1. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did find it useful, give it a like, and I'll see you again soon.